Hey y'all, Grand Rising. Let's see what does the collective need to receive today. All right, we have here a rat. Oh boy. It says someone's working against you behind your back. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. We have here a secret admirer, a stubborn, aggressive person, and July. Okay, somebody could have a birthday in July. Well, that's all Leo. Okay, Leo or Cancer. Tell me more. All right, it says here a journey either physical or mental and then we have someone is going out of your life the end of a situation with the casket well damn so whoever's working behind your back spirit is saying this is the ending of a situation well at least the ending is approaching for some of y'all for some of y'all this is the ending now we have here at the bottom an inheritance okay it says here through a property uh winning or a windfall Okay, and then we got marriage. So somebody could be trying to marry somebody for this inheritance or for this stability, this finances. It's somebody who is very stubborn. Somebody that um, is giving me a karmic energy. But Spirit is saying here, this person is, is, is getting out of your life. Okay, this journey that you have to deal with this person through this journey is over. All right, let's see what else. So some of y'all could be getting a divorce, so this could be uh, an engagement and you guys are going to break up. You guys are not going to move forward to a marriage. Okay. Okay, we have here November. So somebody could have a birthday in November or something happened in November. So what is November? Um, I don't even remember, y'all. I think it's Sagittarius. All right, we have here, waiting for news, package, or letter. So you could be waiting for news or something, you know, regarding maybe some type of recognition or reward, it says here. So you're going to get some type of good news. And then whatever's going on with this karmic energy is out of your life. Let's pull some more cards. So let's see what else. Tell me more, Spirit. It says here, you will be shown the way. All right, so Spirit is guiding you through this situation. So if you was dealing with somebody who's stubborn, somebody who just, you know, they don't, they don't want to change. All right. Spirit is showing you here that it's over. Okay. Whatever happened with this person, it was a short journey or even if it was a long journey, it's over. All right. We have here taking a vacation physically or mentally. Yeah. You're taking like a vacation from this situation. Like you cutting this out of your life. Let's see what else. We have here the most difficult part of a situation is over. So again, more confirmation that whatever happened here, it's over. It's done. <laughs> Let's pull from another another uh, pile of cards. All right, Spirit is going to show you the way. You're going to get your recognition, your rewards for whatever it is that you have been doing. All right. You are going to get your blessings, your abundance. You know, you're going to get blessed for doing what you got to do. And whatever happened with this rat energy who was stubborn, they're leaving your life. So you have nothing to worry about. Okay, we got the page of swords here. Tell me more. Again, some type of information is going to come in. This could be the news right here. Some type of news coming in. Because it says waiting for news package or letter. So this is that. Okay. Tell me more. We got the nature spirits. We got power. And we have I'm sorry. Uh, writing past wrongs and uprooting. 
I see the light in my own darkness. I face my ego beliefs to feel free. So you are definitely freeing yourself from a situation. Well, I'm sorry. It says writing past wrongs. It doesn't mean that you have to like forgive this energy if they try to come back into your life. All right. I feel like with power, you need to stand in your power. Again, this is Leo energy. So somebody could be a Leo here. Uh, with nature spirits. I feel like maybe somebody needs to go outside to get some, some healing, you know, go spend some time in nature to heal from this situation. Cause it says here uprooting, you know, like you're uprooting, you're, you're ripping out everything, you know, that had to do with this energy and just getting out of this, you know, you're getting out of this cycle, out of this karmic cycle. All right. Let's see what we got here. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Yeah, this is a karmic cycle. You needed to experience everything that you went through, all right? Turn this experience into wisdom, okay? We have here surrender fear. Let go of fearful stories that you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. So release any fears, doubts, anxiety, anything that has to do with you and this and 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 getting out of the situation and this is holding you back release it all right fear is going to hold you back doubts are going to hold you back let it go all right we have here focus on the positive yeah so stay positive don't be thinking like you know what if this doesn't work out for me you know what if i don't find somebody else or whatever you know spirit is saying no and look i said something about sagittarius and we have a new moon in sagittarius somebody could be a sagittarius okay and we have here Sweet results await. So the number seven, again, July, uh, Cancer energy, Leo energy, and sweet results await, okay? Yeah, for walking away from what doesn't serve you, you're going to get blessed for that. Okay, what else? We have here find a balance okay we have here my ego is in service of my soul and i trust my soul's divine timing and then we got surrender your ego so definitely something about ego keeps coming out okay we got two cards with ego here two different decks it says cultivate gratitude be of service to others and come from your heart a big ego can work against you but humility will further your goals and then it says, my ego is in service of my soul, and I trust my soul's divine timing. So, yeah, something about surrendering your ego, you know, seeing things clearly, letting it go. All right. And we have here, yeah, seeing things clearly. There you go. You see clearly now. <laughs> Confirmation. And we got seven again. You could be seeing 777, seven, seven, or again, somebody is a, a Leo or a Cancer. Okay. Let me pull some more cards from here. All right, we have here elevation requires isolation. Yeah, so you definitely got to release this energy. We have let go and let God, you know, like you got to learn from this situation. Let it go and let God keep, continue to guide you to move forward. All right, it says here to focus on loving yourself. Let's see what else. Yeah, we have dodge bad vibes. And the, uh, the day that you plant the seed is not the day you eat the fruit. So basically, you know, focus on yourself. Release this energy. Uh, it was a learning experience. All right. Uh, dodge bad vibes, you know, like protect your energy from any, any toxicity. All right. And uh, know that the day that you plant the seed is not the day that you eat the fruit. Basically saying, you know, just be patient. Okay. What else? We have here, yeah, choose yourself. Okay. You have adventure that don't even belong here, but that's what you're doing too. You're like you're going on this new adventure, this new cycle, this new journey. All right, releasing this energy that doesn't serve you and looking, 
you know, forward to what's what's ahead. All right. We have here vacation. Some of y'all are actually taking a vacation. Okay, this person, it says they may have won the battle, but you won the war. So basically, whatever happened in the past, is it's time now for you, you know? You won. It says here, chill, take it easy. There is no need to rush. You're good. You're protected. Okay. Uh, what else? Oops. All right. And we have here that you dodged the bullet. You definitely dodged the bullet dealing with this energy. It was no good. You walked away exactly when you needed to. Spirit is saying your trials will be turned into triumph. And it's okay to be selfish with your energy, which is what they're guiding you to do now. Protect your energy when it comes to this, this situation here. Okay? We have confidence is key. So be confident as you move forward, knowing that you are making the right decision. Okay? Yeah, because we have here that your vibration is raising. So you're definitely doing what you got to do. Spirit is saying, don't feel guilty for doing what's best for you because this cycle is already completed. All right. What else? All right. We have here things, happy thoughts. So stay positive. Stay optimistic. Let's see what else? All right. It says here, what God gives you, no man can take. Okay. Do not retaliate. Step aside and let God and karma work. These people could have been trying to, yeah, take something from you and they celebrated too easily. They could have been trying to maybe siphon off your energy. You know, like this is what they all be trying to do. All right. That's like, that's part of the game here. So whatever happened, the cycle's complete. Spirit is saying don't try to, to retaliate because they're going to get their karma. All right. We have here that it's lonely at the top. Mm-hmm. What you went through was preparation. It was spiritual boot camp, okay? But you're here now, you know, you made it through. Yeah, we have here that you're doing great, sweetie. All right, keep moving forward and choose healing over everything. All right, because you have a purpose here. So make sure that you honor your boundaries, okay? So that's what I got here, y'all. Peace.